As an employer, you must manage the health and safety of new mothers and pregnant workers. Our advice has changed and you must carry out an individual risk assessment for them. There will be little practical change as in your general risk assessment, you should already consider risks to women of childbearing age. However, the difference is that you must also carry out an individual risk assessment that covers a worker's specific needs when they inform you in writing that they are pregnant, breastfeeding or have given birth in the last six months. So what do you need to do? Start by reviewing your existing general risk management and controls for pregnant workers and new mothers. Then talk to them about how their pregnancy could affect their work and discuss any concerns about how their work could affect them or their child. What about a significant risk that could cause a worker or their child harm? If you can't remove the risk, can you adjust their working conditions or hours? If not, can you offer them suitable alternative work on the same terms and conditions? If that's not possible, you must suspend them on full pay for as long as necessary to protect them and their child. You must regularly review your worker's individual risk assessment and make any necessary adjustments. As the pregnancy progresses, or if there are any significant changes to your worker's activity or workplace. The most common risks from working conditions for new and expecting mothers include standing or sitting for long periods, lifting or carrying heavy loads, working at height and shocks or vibrations. Once you have completed the individual risk assessment, record your findings and share these with your worker. It is important to explain how you will keep them and their child safe. Pregnant workers and breastfeeding mothers are entitled to more frequent rest breaks. Talk to them and agree when they should have these and how often. And you must provide a suitable area where they can rest. It should include somewhere to lie down if necessary, and be hygienic and private. Pregnant workers and new mothers can work nights, provided their work presents no risk to them or their child. However, you should offer suitable alternative day work on the same terms and conditions when your worker's individual assessment has identified a risk from night work and or they have a medical certificate stating they should not work nights. If it is not possible to provide alternative day work, you must suspend them from work on paid leave for as long as necessary. We have more guidance for employers as well as advice for pregnant workers and new mothers on our website. It will help you keep them and their child safe at work.